Hello, beautiful people. Welcome. It is Thursday. It is Cooking for Therapy Thursday. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, I have spaghetti squash. It is in the oven. Uh, the oven just went off. Hello, fancy. The oven just went off, so I was like, let me go ahead and make. I knew that was going to take the longest, so I got a red pepper, shallot, beef kielbasa. I'm going to put that in the pot, and then you're gonna, we're going to see this how this spaghetti squash, you know, work out. Hi, fancy. How are you? Oh, I forgot how hot it get when you turn the oven on. I'm in here baking. I never, um, thank you. I've never had spaghetti squash. Sp sp <laughs> I've never had spaghetti squash either. Um, but I started juicing and I was like, okay, I can't let this sausage go to waste because it'll be a minute before I eat it. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and eat this sausage. And let me try sp spaghetti squash, depending on if I like it. It probably become, you know, a regular in my in my meal, in my meal prep. So I'm just cutting up the uh, red bell pepper right now. I'm going to cut up the shallots, put them in the pot, and then I'll put the... Do I want them to be this big? I think that's fine. Let me see. I'm trying to make it where you guys can see me talk and cook. I'm trying to figure this out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. There we go. Um, let me see if I can pull y'all down a little bit. I... Whoa. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Okay. It might look a little lopsided. It's okay. You're still going to see me cook. I'm trying to do it while I got the daylight because I don't like the lights in my in my kitchen. That's why relocation is definitely on the menu. As soon as I, you know, get my relocation papers, I'll, I'll let y'all know where I'm going. But for right now, I'm here. So I got to do the best, so do what I can with what I got. Okay. Red peppers. I probably should put the olive oil. Let me spray it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Got the red peppers. I got a shallot. I use shallots when I do my uh fried cabbage and I was like oh I like these better than onions I mean even though it's an onion but y'all know what I'm saying then white onions or fragrance of these things. I'm gonna put this in the garbage. I'll put on the beat like that. Okay. Let's cut up the sausage. Wait, I need to reset it. 
Okay. Wait, is it is the back now fancy? Let me know if it's back. I already started. If it's not back, let me know. Maybe I'll just start it. Stop it. Start it back up. So right now I'm just chopping up the sausage. It's gonna go. Yeah, I got a whole. So what happened was I had went to this uh, health and wellness thing, and it was called cooking for therapy. And I was like, oh my god, I've been wanting to cook on my streams. And I was like, I could do that. And then I already got an apron because it said cooking for therapy. So cooking for therapy. I'm I'm really excited to see what this. Uh, Spaghetti squash tastes like. That's what I'm really excited for. Okay. It's almost like I'm making a fried cabbage. But I'm not, I'm making spaghetti squash. And I got some uh, four cheese Alfredo. Um, I haven't really tasted it. Well, I didn't taste it yet. So, I, my first time tasting it would be on camera right here. It would be on the live. It would be my first time tasting it. And then, of course, I'm going to do a mukbang on my YouTube. So. You guys are free tonight at 10. I'm going to go live on TikTok. I think I'm going to go 10 because more people be like free around 10, you know, winding down at night. So I'm going to try 10 and see how that works. We're going to let this cook. Hit it with a little olive oil. So I do Jamaican. I, I put some uh, roasted garlic herb on the... Um, all the spaghetti squash. They said salt and pepper, but I was like, mm, I'm gonna be a little fancy. Okay, I think that should be enough. <laughs> I be going live though. I do go live fancy. I kind of got. I'm gonna be 100. percent I kind of got a little discouraged because I was like. I really want people to be able to come and sing with me, but most people don't be on TikTok like that. So I was like, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna keep building it. I'm gonna build it. If you build it, they will come. I'm gonna see if I can get my niece and nephews to try it. Let it simmer. 
have to put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. Let it do what it do. In the meantime, let's see what these spaghetti squash are looking like. Because once that's done, then I'll be able to plate. So give me one minute. Y'all see that? Mm. It smells delicious. Mm. It's it smells delicious. Do y'all y'all can't really smell it, but y'all can see it though. So let's see. This one is not as hot. I cut it totally wrong, but it looked like garlic bread, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But it's spaghetti swash. It smells delicious. I don't think I should put that top on there. We're not gonna put the top on there. So, I got my plate. Got my plate. Y'all hear that sizzling? I want y'all to hear the ASMR. Sizzle ASMR. Okay, I guess I should taste this one. Because what if it is sweet? But it'll be sweet and savory because of the sausage and the peppers and the salad. So, got some pork cheese alfredo. Let's let's get a little bit of this for. So the lady said, oh, I, I watched the uh, tutorial. She said. She used to cook it on an hour and it would be too uh, watery. So she said cook it on 30 minutes. This is what it looks like. I got YouTube and Twitch right here. Got people right here. This is what it looks like. Let's see. Let's see what it's tasting. Let's see what it's hitting for. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Hold on. rubbed it with the um, extra, virgin olive, olive, extra virgin olive oil and I put some of this on there. So, it's not too sweet, but it's good. So, for my Alfredo sauce. Okay. Now, I'll turn that down, let it simmer. So, 
She said, pull from the sides, and as you are pulling, it'll fluff up. Oh, she said, so cooking it for 30 to 40 minutes, make it al dente. And I was like, okay, I could do al dente. I like al dente. So, y'all gonna see the spaghetti squash. Okay, let's get that on my plate. This is so dope. I cut it wrong, so. Okay. I don't think I need a lot of noodles or whatever it's called. Okay. Here's a spaghetti squash. Mm. Yeah. I can eat this. It with a little more seasoning. Okay. Now let's put, we got sausage, red pepper, shallots. I'm trying to get a lot of the sauce. Here's my plate. You guys see it? It's my plate. <sighs> Let's see what it be hitting for. Let's get some of this sauce. Okay. Let's get it all together. Of course, I'm going to do a mukbang on my YouTube. If you don't follow me on my YouTube, you should. You should. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Hmm. Yeah, this is really good. You want to try it? Mm. That's really good. I think I'm going to have to try it without the sausage. But <clears throat> that's really good. See if I see a little bit more sauce. Put more sauce on there. But the sauce is good. Yeah, I like it with just like the peppers and the Or just the peppers and the shallots is good and the sauce. Mm. Hold on, look in the bag in the back row. Okay. This has been cooking for therapy. Um, this only took me 19 minutes. It's okay because I'm gonna have a whole video. I'm a muck, I'm a muck, I'm a whole oh, mukbang on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for joining me. This is Cooking for Therapy every Thursday. I haven't figured out an exact time yet, but every Thursday I'll be right here cooking for therapy. Remember that it is important for you to use your words. That is the only way that anyone will ever know what you are feeling or what you are thinking. I will never let a live video, cooking blog, anything that I do go out without me telling you to love Love yourself. This includes your faults, your fears, your failures. Know yourself. Trust. 
Trust yourself. This includes the hairs on the back of your neck, the feeling you get in the pit of your stomach, the goosebumps, the loud or the small voice. Trust it because it will not lead you wrong. Most importantly, just be yourself. Why? Because you need you. I need you. This great big old world needs you to be exactly who you were created to be. And besides, everyone else is taken already. Anybody, anybody that cannot love, respect, or appreciate you for being authentically you does not deserve to be in your space. You need to understand and learn boundaries. boundaries. Ah, set them and live. If you haven't already, get you some toiletries, non perishable food items, water, disinfectants, have some cash money, and some coins to the side. Pay attention to the news, world news, local news, financial news, health news. Pay attention to the news. And if you are an adult or if you are engaged in adult activities, Houston, if you're watching this from Houston, you have a problem. Um, make sure you wrap it up. There's a syphilis uh, outbreak. Um, please. Make sure you wrap it up. If you're not familiar with syphilis, go Google to syphilis and the Tuskegee Airmen. You will completely understand what's going on right now. Anyways, that's all I got. If you're free at 10 tonight, join me on my TikTok because I'll be doing live karaoke. If you have a thousand or more followers, feel free to come and sing. If not, just come and hang out in the chat. You know, do what you do. That's all I got. Until next time, I love you. Peace.